Hey, what's going on guys? Fluxemi here, and in today's video, as I said in my last video, I'm doing a video for my school. So, if you guys don't want to watch it, that's all good. Um, but if you guys do watch it, make sure to leave um, a comment on what could be improved. And that's all I've got to say from me, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that's me. Peace. In the beginning, in the beginning of all of this drama, the British had a plan to take all over New Zealand. They did not want one Māori people or person to live there. They just want that land for themselves. But that's not what the Māori wanted, because they were there first. They discovered it first with Captain James Cook. They wanted it to be just them, but that's not what the British wanted. I mean, like the Māori were allowed, like would let them, but the British would just go out of their way and try to take it away from them. And as you can see in this gameplay, it's sort of resembling to that because the British would always have wars with the New Zealanders slash the Māori. They wouldn't allow them to be in their own country. They would fight because they want to have it. They would share it, but it would be uh, under circumstances. You would have to do things for them. You would have to give up things for them. And that's not what the Māori wanted. They wanted to live with all other people. They want to be a multicultural and bicultural place. They don't want to have war all the time. They just want to be loved with one another. And that's when 1840 came around. The British and the Māori decided that there, why should we fight? There's no goodness in fighting. So they made a treaty. And that treaty is called the Treaty of Waitangi. And it was signed by chiefs, governments, all these other people to declare no more wars, no more legally land selling. Um, they would just allow it before, but now they don't. And that, that is great because now we are all one big community. And nowadays, as you can see in this gameplay, it's the future from 1940 to 2016. Everybody is a happy community. Everybody knows each other. The world has evolved from being all the way down there to all the way up here. And if you couldn't see my hand clearly, that was from about 20% to 100%. Everybody knows each other. Everybody loves each other. They have good relationships, friendships. They all know their community. They partake in things like youth groups, church. Um, everybody that goes to work, they do it for a reason. To make the world a better world and for people to live. And all before this, it was wars, um, like killing nobody like would have things they would take it away from you and that puts a hole a bullet like a bullet just shot shot me right in the heart it weakens me because the british just want all the greatest things when the maori just want to live their lives but the british wouldn't allow that but now since 1840 they allowed that. We all allowed that. And now we are multiculturalism, biculturalism. We all love each other. Unlike some countries or some states, some um, places, they don't allow that. But we, we do because we know that it is great to have everybody in the society and it is great to know that this is good. And that's the end of my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it.